So, um, touch season has just ended with um, us placing third in CSAC. And although it wasn't the place that we were hoping for, it's still quite good. And even though we were hoping to get either first or second, it's and it was a bit of a letdown to get there, and we were quite upset at the time. I just, I feel like this was a great opportunity. It was, I have learned so much from this, um, not only just season, but throughout the whole year, as touch was a very prominent part of my year. As each, you know, throughout the whole year, I've had a season of touch with training. We have had trainings for the, throughout the whole year. And it's just been a very prominent part of this year and my skills development and what I've, and what I've taken away from that is a lot. <laughs> like I'm, I, I'm very proud of myself actually that I've, I've, de I think I have developed a lot, and I think I can uh, really connect this to learning outcome four, which do with commitment. Because as I said, as touch was such a prominent part, especially going up to like leading up to the CSAC, which was what we, what the end product was, what the end game was for us, what we had been training for all year. Uh, as we led up to that, it, the trainings did become very intense. We had, not only did we have trainings and games, we also had fitness sessions. So it was a lot of energy and time to put in and with with balancing um, school as well and work as well, it was quite hard at times. But I think I did show like resilience and commitment to this activity through the, uh, we also, we had optional fitness sessions and I, um, I really, felt like fitness was a key part on how we were going to succeed so I made sure I came to those fitness sessions I didn't miss any because even though it was an extra hour of fitness that I could um that I had to fit into my schedule somewhere and it was very intense in the hot on hot afternoons when I had to went to get home I feel that we I always went to make sure that I had the level of fitness that was needed that was going to help my team because touch is a very like if you do not have that fitness if it's down to the skills and if one team you can have the same skill set as another but it's down to that fitness who's that will help you win so I think my person I, I showed that through my um, continuation of going to these fitness sessions so that really showed my commitment to that activity because it was very hard to balance at um, work as well because this was a time where I had a lot of work to do but I felt like that really so I felt like that really showed um, in, in regards to how I mo um, maintain my motivation for this activity it's a lot to do with um, just the amount of energy and time like I said we put a lot of it in and so I just the, my motivation was really um, to do with that because I kept on saying to myself well you've put so much effort and so much time in it so far, you wouldn't want that all to go to waste. So if you just continue that up until CSAC and we have the best and we do the best that we could possibly do, that is, on, even if we don't place that much, if we do the best that we could possibly do because you put so much time and effort, it was a really big, that was a really big motivation for me. Um, CSAC, yeah, as well, was a big motivation just because it was what we'd been looking for for the whole year it was what we've been training for we had lots of little competitions we've had um lots of trips to um marlborough we've had lots of tournaments but csac was the ultimate goal um what we were ultimately training for and so that was a huge motivation just to be able to succeed in csac um i think especially um the team as a whole, the team's energy is really helpful in helping, um, not only me, but I feel like um, everyone really relies on the team's energy and the team's motivation and the, how we view each other, not only just as teammates, but as a family to help stay committed to the activity because it is very hard. It is very time consuming. It is um, very, you have to be, you can't miss, um, miss trainings. You can't miss fitness sessions. And so in order for us to stay motivated, it's that energy, it's that um, relationship we have with each other, going out for dinners, going out um, with each other to have um, days out was a really huge part of staying committed to the activity because um, if you felt that, if you missed a, a training session, you felt like you were letting your family down, you knew that um, you were so close to these people that it... Um, 
really impacted how you'd come up to this, I think. Um, so yeah, the commitment, um, it did, I'm very proud of myself because I think I really did improve and I think that is a direct like correlation with my commitment because in the past I haven't been that commi committed to touch and kind of came second on my priority but this year I made it sure that it was one of my top priorities that I really manage my time so it could be one of my pro top priorities so I could commit to it and I really do think that that had a huge effect on how I developed my skills during this whole season not only this whole season but throughout the year because I really do think I've developed a lot and I'm actually very proud of myself for that um and I hope next year I can continue with that commitment level and hopefully I can continue to develop my t time management skills so I can because grade 12 will be a tough year by if I hopefully if I can develop my time management skills I can do that